Yo, happy Monday to everybody. It's your boy Mike D, aka DDE8, aka 13th Wonder of the World. So nice of y'all to be on the point of view today on this Monday, listening to me. Wow. Shout out to the Point Place family. Shout out to Bobby Reese. Shout out to M Breezy. Shout out to Naya Naya. Shout out to my sister. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me on the point of view on this Monday. Y'all, I'm kind of in pain, man. I hurt my knee, but my knee going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? I fell on it doing some, doing something, and I hurt my knee. But uh, I'm going to be all right. It wasn't nothing crazy or nothing outlandish or nothing like that. It was actually me. I stepped on something, and I fell on my knee. But other than that, I'm good, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fine. I'm just... The pain is just hitting a little bit, but I know my sister worried about me with my knee, but I'm fine. I'm fine, baby. I'm good. I'm good now you now I'm great. For all of you that, you know, concerned, I'm good. I'm good. I'll be back walking again, just resting my knee. That's it. Take it taking the medicine for it. I'm good though. Um Ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, I want to say congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs for winning their fourth Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes won his third Super Bowl uh, MVP along with Travis Kelsey and Andy Reid, the coach. Shout out to him. I want to say this, ladies and gentlemen. I want to give him his flowers. Patrick Mahomes is the greatest black quarterback in NFL history. Um, no disrespect to Doug Williams, who was the first, and no disrespect to Russell Wilson, who was the second Super Bowl black MVP in the NFL. But, I, uh, super, yeah, I want to give a shout-out to Patrick Mahomes. At one time, I had forgot that he was a brother, but, you know, congratulations to him for getting the – Chiefs back to the Super Bowl, man, and I don't want to be a conspiracy talker here and things like that, but it's obviously money on the line when it comes down to these games. And the 49ers played a sloppy Super Bowl game yeah, last night, and I know that George Kittles want to become – a Super Bowl champion again, but he can't, I mean, for the first time, he got there again, and he didn't win. And I know that it's bothering him, CMC, uh, uh, Sammy, who got hurt, but came back to play, so he had a badge of honor out there for him trying to come back and play. Man, this game was sloppy from the beginning. The first play of the game, the 49ers fumbled the ball, CMC fumbled the ball, you could tell that the Chiefs was going to win this game because of all the bad hiccups they had in the game. A missed field goal, um, not a missed field goal, but a missed PAT. The point after the touchdown when they scored, which should have been 17-13, instead of being 16-13, the Chiefs went back down there and scored a field goal. Then you had a, a, a kick off the kickoff, a punt. Yeah, off the punt, excuse me. When the Chiefs punted the ball, the receiver muffed the punt, and they got the ball in the territory of the 49ers. They were able to go down there and score on that, as well as, you know, even one of the, the uh, Kansas City Chief boys had turnovers. Mahomes threw an interception. And I was talking to Fadeaway. Shout out to Fadeaway. Me and him was watching this game. And I told him, I say, man, this is this is this is going the Chiefs' way. This is set up for the Chiefs to win this this Super Bowl. I say the, the San Francisco 49ers are playing with the Chiefs, and they should be. And sure enough, guess what happens? The Chiefs go in overtime, score a touchdown instead of a field goal, like the 49ers did, and won the Super Bowl. Now. Let me put something else to rest because everybody's talking about Patrick Mahomes, the greatest quarterback they'll play the game. No, he's not. He's up there. 
he is up there because he hasn't gotten past. He, 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 got, he first, he has to get past Terry Bradshaw because that's the next guy on the Pikes Peak on the Mount Rushmore that he has to pass up. Because Terry Bradshaw had four Super Bowls, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that with Pittsburgh. You know what I'm saying? Mahomes is good. But until he gets eight over that man in New England, Tom Brady, and Andy Reid has got to win at least four more Super Bowls to pass up Bill Belichick in order for him to be the greatest coach of all time. Now, he's getting there. Don't get me wrong. He's getting there because he has a great quarterback. But let me break something down to all of you. Everybody's all up on Mahomes like he's better than Tom Brady. Let me break this down to everybody about Tom Brady. Tom Brady has won seven Super Bowl championships. Patrick Mahomes has only won three. He's already lost one. He could have had four if he didn't lose to Brady in the Super Bowl in, in two years ago, three years ago, however long it was, when Brady went to Tampa in his first year and won a Super Bowl there. Until Patrick Mahomes do that, he's not the greatest. He's up there. He is the greatest quarterback of this generation here. He's a Steph Curry guy. Don't get me wrong. He's Steph Curry, LeBron James. And and um, who else is there right now that's that's doing the do? That's the only guys I know right now: Steph, LeBron, and and Patrick Mahomes. You know what I'm saying? That can win multiple championships. I'm here to tell you, Patrick Mahomes is great. I give him his respect. He did what he did yesterday to get the job done. But until he gets eight Super Bowls from Tom Brady. He is not the greatest quarterback ever. He's got to beat out Terry Bradshaw because I think Bradshaw got four, if I'm not mistaken. With that being said, the Kansas City Chiefs, Kelsey's now got three Super Bowls. He, he's got to win one. He's got to win two to pass Gronk, excuse me, but he has to win one to tie him, and I think he will. Kelsey is one of the greatest tight ends of this generation. Don't get me wrong. He's a Gronk, you know, he's a Gronk type player. I still think Gronk's better than him, but it is what it is right now, folks. The Kansas City Chiefs are our dynasty. Um, I don't know if they're going to go back to the Super Bowl next year. I don't know. It depends on their health, if they boost their roster, because I'm going to tell you something. This, this roster that they had, if it wasn't for guys like Pacero, McKinnon, and Kelsey, the other guys out there wouldn't have, wouldn't have done nothing for them. But I'm here to tell you, Kansas City is going to have to – they're going to be – they're going to have a target on their back next year because Buffalo is going to come back. Baltimore is going to be back. Houston looks like they're going to be greater if – your boy, don't get the sophomore hango the hangover. I'm talking about CJ. Um, Miami's gonna be back. The thing about the Dolphins, the Dolphins has got to learn. They've got to learn how to get out of the first round of the playoffs. They're just hype. Dallas is gonna be back. I don't know if they're gonna go to the Super Bowl next year. It depends. Philly's gonna be back. Jalen Hurts is gonna be ready. Next year, they're going to have to figure out what they're going to do about their defense. They need a bulk up in their defense. That's the problem with the um, Philadelphia Eagles. Detroit's going to be back stronger, uh, barring any injuries to any of their guys. Um, Green Bay is going to be in the mix. The Saints should win the division next year. Derek Carr has got to prove to everybody that he, he, he got to prove to the city of New Orleans that he can get them to a playoff and a and a first round or at least a bye or something like that, which they're not gonna get, but at least a, a host a playoff game. That's that's what they need to do right now. The Saints need to get back into the mix, folks. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, uh congratulations to Kansas City for winning the Super Bowl. Um 
Next year it's going to be in New Orleans. It's going to be interesting to see what happens down there in the Mercedes-Benz. It's going to be interesting because the Super Bowl is coming to New Orleans next year. What a great place to have it. I know people are still are probably right now trying to get the tickets to go there. I know a couple of my friends want to go, go to the Super Bowl in New Orleans. Interesting to see how that goes down, folks. Um, with that being said, let me turn to professional wrestling. Raw tonight, uh, AEW was okay. Edge and Danny Garcia look like they're going to have a feud and stuff like that. Uh, have a match. Uh, Moxley against the CML. Moxley and Daniel Bryan and Claudio against the CML wrestlers. Uh, more of, a, of Sting and Darby, you know, tag team title win. Uh, we'll see what happens with AEW this Wednesday. Tonight is... Uh, Monday Night Raw, Elimin Elimination Chamber uh, qualifying matches tonight, L.A. Knight versus Ivar. Um, we're going to see, um, I know Miz and Logan Paul are supposed to fight. Uh, Dominique and K.O. are supposed to fight. Uh, Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed are going to fight tonight. Uh, shout out to Bronson Reed. Uh, my condolences to him. He lost. A loved one in his family. God bless him. God keep him. Pray that God give him strength right now in the time of bereavement. Also, uh, Maurice, they said that she had cancer on the ovary somewhere. My heart and prayers go out to her. That God bless her and keep her through this situation. Um, you know, cancer is a tough thing. It doesn't matter what kind it is, folks. We pray that God can help us to get a cure for this so that so many people won't be passing from cancer. Um, not only that, um, Rock is going to be going back to Hollywood Rock when he came back in 03, talking about it's cooking. You're probably going to hear that tune again. Um, not only that, ladies and gentlemen, I read somewhere where Bobby Lashley said that the bloodline cost the Hurt Business their faction. I don't know how true that is, but that was reported by Bobby Lashley. Um, I still don't know why WWE won't put him in the ring with Roman Reigns. And when it happens, I think Bobby Lashley will be the guy to beat him. They need to make a match between Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns. Should happen again sometime in the future. Should happen again sometime this year. But he's, he's dealing with Killer Cross and AOP right now, him and the Street Profits. So we'll see what happens with that um, as the moving parts go on with that as well. Uh, also tonight, um, it's going to be Liv and Zoe Stark at the, for the qualifying match for the Women's Elimination Chamber. There's talks that Jay Cargill could be going to SmackDown. I wish he would come to Raw. But I don't know why they're all going to be on SmackDown. We'll see what happens with that. Somebody from SmackDown will win and, and challenge Rhea Ripley. But, I, folks, it's going, to be, it's going to be Becky Lynch, man. Becky Lynch is going to win that match, and Becky Lynch is going to challenge Rhea Ripley at, um, barring her being injured, she's going to challenge her at WrestleMania for the, for the women's world title. And it could possibly be a, trip, be a triple threat because Nia Jax probably is going to be back in the mix too. But I want to see if Rhea Ripley can keep this thing going on like Roman Reigns did. She's been champion for almost a year. Let's see if her year comes through and she wins. There's still nobody that's going to fight Gunther at WrestleMania. They're talking about Braun Breaker. Can Braun Breaker be the one to beat him? Absolutely. Do I think you go with Sami Zayn? I think you go with Sami Zayn becoming the Intercontinental Champion at WrestleMania by beating Gunther. Because they're talking, I thought it was going to be Jey Uso, but I think they're going to put Jey Uso against Jimmy in a brother-for-brother -brother match at WrestleMania, which they had been talking about ever since last year. So we'll see what happens with that as the moving pieces come towards WrestleMania. We're in WrestleMania season deep now. 
Elimination Chamber in Australia, then the big WrestleMania two night program. So, you know, you're gonna get to watch some matches that Saturday and some that Sunday. Let me tell you this, that Saturday night WrestleMania is pumped up better than that Sunday. That Sunday night is great, but that Saturday night WrestleMania night one, tremendous, man. Each year they've been doing it has been better, you know. And I think the main event that first night is going to be Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. Watch what happens in that match. I guarantee you that Rock and Roman win that match in night one. And Roman lose in night two if they have that match. And Seth wins in, in, night, in night two. Because Seth Rollins has got to worry about who he's going to fight for the title at WrestleMania. It's not going to be CM Punk. It's probably going to be either Drew McIntyre or somebody else in this mix. Now, here's my thing. Drew McIntyre is the favorite to win this Elimination Chamber. But guys, there's other people that could win this thing, man. And 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 there's one guy that I, I that if Bobby Lashley loses tonight to Bronson Reed, he's my second favorite to win that thing, uh, Bobby Lashley. But I don't think he's gonna lose. I think he's gonna lose tonight to um, Bronson Reed. He's gonna lose. The, he's gonna lose to Bronson Reed, and they're gonna have a match with him and Cross. That's my theory on that. But there's guys that are going to be in this eliminated chamber. When we, when we figure out Randy Orton, that could be a guy that could fight for the title at WrestleMania. Randy Orton does not need to win the title, but he could. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see what happens because Randy Orton has, don't have a story yet, but I think he will have a story before WrestleMania. True to that. Uh... I think you go with Logan Paul. He's not going to win the Elimination Chamber. I think Logan Paul's probably going to end up going up against L.A. Knight or somebody like that. I think you go with L.A. Knight versus Logan Paul at Mania. And L.A. Knight beats Logan Paul to become the United States champion. He gets his story told. Because everybody's got a story trying to finish their story at Mania. And that's exactly what it is. That's why WrestleMania is one of the biggest, biggest pay-per-views of all time in any sports. It's big like the Super Bowl. It's big like the World Series. It's big like the Stanley Cup. It's big like the NCAA tournament. It's big like the NBA Finals. It's big like the PGA Tour. It's big like Wimbledon. It, it's big, man. WrestleMania is big. And AEW's final resolution is big. TNA's, uh, what, Bound for Glory, their pay-per-view is big. But this has nothing compared to WWE's wrestling, man. Big. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens as the story unfolds and the missing pieces come and the moving parts are starting to get moved. God bless you, God keep you. I am Mike D, DDE80. Enjoy Raw. Enjoy the NBA tonight as well. I really haven't been saying too much about the NBA. I know tonight the Bucks and the Nuggets are playing. That could be a possible, listen to me closely, a possible um, NBA Finals preview. So we'll see what happens with that tonight. But God bless you, God keep you. I'm out. I'll talk to you guys later.